Hello everyone, today we will discuss the role of natural enemies like predators, parasitoids and pathogens in controlling squash bugs, a major pest of cucurbit crops. Predators including spiders, ground beetles, assassin bugs and wasps directly consume squash bugs. Whereas parasitoids like tachinid flies and egg parasitic wasps generally parasitize squash bugs and their eggs. Insect pathogens like bacteria, fungi, viruses or protozoa can cause diseases in squash bugs and reduce their populations. Squash bugs are common uh, pests of cucurbit plants such as squashes, pumpkins, cucumbers and melons. They have three life stages, adult, egg and nymph. Nymphs typically develop through five stages. Adults are flat, shield shaped and usually brownish to black or grey in color measuring about 16 mm in length. Eggs are oval shaped and laid in cluster starting as orange to yellow but turning reddish brown to copper in color just before hatching. Nymphs are wingless and gray with black heads, antennae and legs. Over five stages, nymphs grow from 2.5 mm to 12 mm long with within four to six weeks before becoming adults. Squash bugs overwinter as adults in plant debris and under rocks around gardens. In early spring, the adults emerge from the overwintering sites, move to growing cucurbit plants like zucchini and begin uh, feeding and mating. After mating, females lay eggs in clusters on the upper or lower side of leaves. The eggs hatch into nymphs which develop through five stages before becoming adults. The squash bug life cycle generally takes six to eight weeks to comp complete. Um, squash bugs typically produce one generation in a colder region and two to three generations in warmer region. Squash bugs damage cucurbits by inserting needle-like mouthparts into plant tissues and fruits sucking out juices and injecting toxic saliva simultaneously. Severe feeding can reduce plant vigor, lower yields and eventually kill the plant. They also damage fruits causing scars, collapse or rot. Additionally, they can transmit disease causing pathogens from plant to plant further increasing uh, the damage. Therefore, managing squash bugs is crucial for protecting cucurbit crops. However, the use of toxic chemical pesticides should be avoided due to their harmful effects on human health and the environment. Natural enemies such as predators and parasitoids provide a sustainable way to control squash bug populations below economic threshold levels without heavy reliance on chemical pesticides. For example, Assassin bugs are natural predators of squash bugs and other insect pests. They are also commercially used as biological control agents for managing many soft bodied insect pests like squash bugs. Assassin bugs control squash bugs by puncturing and sucking out the body content of nymphs and adults uh, with their uh, needle like mouthparts, eventually killing them. Ground beetles prey directly on squash bugs, uh, eggs and nymphs, reducing squash bug populations. Spiders, wasps and yellow jackets also feed on eggs and nymphs, contributing to population control. Tachinid flies can parasitize nymphs and adult squash bugs, leading to their death. Tiny egg parasitic wasps lay their eggs inside squash bug eggs and the hatched larvae feed on the developing nymphs, uh, helping to prevent squash bug outbreaks. In addition, cultural and mechanical control practices are essential for avoiding the use of chemical pesticides against squash bugs in organic gardens. Cultural practices may include rotating crops with non-host plants to break the squash bug life cycle. Post-harvest sanitation will uh, also reduce overwintering sites, uh, lowering squash bug 
populations for the following year. When tramp crops are planted early in the season, they attract squash bugs to a concentrated area, area, making them easier to control. Planting companion plants such as marigolds can repel squash bugs or attract their natural enemies, helping to reduce squash bug populations. Mechanical control may involve manually crushing eggs with the thumb and index finger before they watch into um, hatch into the nymphs, uh, thereby preventing the future uh, generations. Additionally, uh, collecting fast-moving squash bugs uh, with a handheld vacuum cleaner and destroying them may help reduce squash bug population. Visit bugsforgrowers.com for more information on using beneficial insects and nematodes for biological control of insect pests and for reading blogs on organic vegetable growing in greenhouses and home gardens. Thank you for watching. Please share, like and subscribe.